So a couple of days ago, I released a YouTube short showing how to do some text animations. And I showed the slow way of doing it on the edit page and then a quicker way of using comp utility and doing it that way. So I'm going to explain it a little bit more because it seems like people don't really understand why it's quicker. TLDR, it doesn't have to be for just text. You can do this on pretty much anything. So like instead of text nodes, these could be shape nodes or polygons or some crazy crazy anime footage. The uses for comp utility and inserting tools and separating text, it's all for a better workaround for the follower node because of how limiting it is. I'm going to prove it in this video. If I want to get a text animation and I can make it as long as I want, right? The usual resolve user is going to right click it and then go into follower and then do all this stuff with follower. But I'm going to be honest, it locks you to just this menu and this menu and that's kind of limiting. I'm not gonna lie control shift space and then type in separate and then it separates all the words Ugh, i hate this default layout but everything's horizontal so so we're here and we separated our words and then i bring up the pivot tool highlight all this and then press the center button and then everything is set to its origin all right so now i got a really simple looking animation here copy param and then click on the first transform notes that that is the source i want to offset everything by four frames and have a step of two frames don't ask me what the step does i just always said it's two i'm not sure what it does i'm going to look at my keyframes and see what parameters are being changed i'm going to click the corresponding ones and then I press set. And just like that, the script does everything for me. Text animation. I can apply this to any effect. It doesn't have to just be transform. Highlight all the other nodes. Set. And now we have our animation with rays on every single one. Now, this is just an example. You know what I mean? I could get whatever I want here. Then set. All of them start out as red and then they go to white. Once you get out of the habit of using the follower for everything, this becomes way more preferable and it gives you more flexibility for animation. Sorry for the short video, guys. I've been working on edits and I can't really make an edit in a YouTube video in the same day. So hope you enjoyed. Clout VFX out.